Rimuru has just created the strongest dungeon in all of anime. Floor 49 becomes a real pain in the ass though, because Rimuru had to make sure these adventurers knew slimes were tough too. So some special red ones are created to fill the floor and these things are mighty, especially with their attribute to merge together and create massive walls that are immune to physical attacks. Like these things can become 10 feet large in diameter, with them even being able to dissolve challengers' equipment and, of course, clothes. During the Empire's invasion of the Labyrinth, these slimes were instrumental in slowing down the soldiers' approach, allowing for the rest of the floor guardians to be more prepared. In the wild, these slime buddy creations of Rimuru would be an A-grade threat easily, but the boss even stronger, Rimuru Tempest, the Void Dragon. Rimuru became a true dragon during the Eastern Empire's invasion of Tempest, which covers volumes 13 to 15. You see, Veldora gets brainwashed and then Rimuru has to fight not one, but two true dragons. Dude kicks both Veldora and Velgrin's ass, which of course is due to him becoming their new sibling. Yep, at this point, Rimuru is considered family to these guys, which means he's God's younger brother. But how is this even possible? How does a slime become a dragon? Well, it's due to Raphael or Ciel. Upon seeing that her master had to take on two true dragons, Raphael started to doubt herself. And so to boost its morale, Rimuru gave it a name, Ciel, evolving the ultimate skill into a manas just like Michael. With this upgrade, Ciel was not only able to analyze info particles, aka the building blocks of the universe, but actively manipulate. And since Ciel is an evolved form of Wisdom King Raphael, she has dominion over all information in the universe, essentially allowing her to change the fabric of reality at will. Like, Velgrind was using a superpower acceleration attack and Ciel went, Nope, and created a skill instantly that was strong enough to overpower hers. CL focuses on Velgrind while Rimuru tries to get his BFF Veldora back. And it's in that moment that CL casually goes, yo, Rimuru, wanna become a true dragon? Uh, Rimuru obviously is pretty shocked by this, but after absorbing the chaos dragon core of Milim's pet and analyzing Veldora himself, CL has all the necessary components to evolve Rimuru into a true dragon, naturally becoming one of the embodiments of creation multiplies Rimuru's strength by a ton, especially with his new power to understand the world's nature itself. He also gains control over space, time, and magical elements due to his new ability, Dragon Release. Rimuru also predates Velgrind here, which we know obviously increased her strength, but also made our boy even stronger. Just like Veldora, he can summon her and even use her magic cues and abilities now. Furthermore, Beelzebub gets an upgrade, transforming the skills stomach into literal infinite space, a, a whole ass new dimension under Rimuru's control. But that's nothing compared to the best power Rimuru gets upon his upgrade, as a ton of his ultimate skills are combined to form one ultra powerful ability, Void God Azatar. Remember everything we just talked about in this video regarding skills? Yeah, well, that skill is all of those combined. Dragon skills, ultimate skills, doesn't matter. Everything gets a level up and Rimuru can use it. Even space-time domination. So yeah, Rimuru controls space and time at an even greater level than he did like five minutes ago. This evolution is Rimuru's most pivotal and it's very likely that Rimuru is in fact Veldanava himself as not anyone can become a true dragon. You need a unique soul or ego to be able to withstand reality itself. And according to Feldway's theory, you need the three dragon cores of Velzerd, Veldora, and Velgrind to resurrect Veldanava's soul. Rimuru has two out of three right now and is probably gonna get Velzerds when he comes back from the edge of time as a digital being, something that Veldanava was also. Furthermore, if you look at Veldanava's dragon color, it's literally Rimuru's blue. I'm not making this stuff up, guys. There is real evidence, but I will explore that theory in the next slime video. Also, shout out to my friend Weave the World for helping me make sure all this info from 21 novels is accurate. So go watch uh, every time Rimuru leveled up.